mentioned large crowds and demonstrators are expected on campus and the school is telling students to steer clear of the Performing Arts Center after thousands responded online. They'd be there to protest and News 6 is not in Giannis continues our coverage from Gainesville right now and he's speaking in a few hours. Nadine, who's out there so far? Well, we're seeing about a handful of protesters on both sides come. I don't want, I want to go ahead and just show you right away. Some of these guys are on the corner here. Now, they're surrounded by media. That's the largest group that we're seeing here, media from all across the state and nation. But there are a handful of people. Uh, this group here is obviously opposing Richard Spencer's speech. And then to the left, there were a couple of folks being surrounded by media right here who uh, said that they're actually in support of Richard Spencer. One young man told me um, not too long ago that he was actually in Charlottesville uh, for Richard Spencer's speech and he came down from Houston to hear him speak today in support of him. Uh, and already we're starting to see a little bit of dialogue between the two groups, nothing excessive. Obviously you just heard Mark and all the security measures they have. Behind me, this parking lot, I was told, is gonna be uh, designated for protesters who decide to come. So even though we're seeing a handful now, uh, we are expected to have more come. I spoke to a guy from Orlando actually organizing a group. That group will be here at one o'clock. I've been speaking to a couple of folks on both sides of the issues and we're gonna hear uh, why they say they're here today, either for or against Richard Spencer later on in the show. Until then, we're live at UF. Nadine Giannis, News 6. Nadine, thanks. And we'll